What's up guys, Rich here with another motor review for you. Today, we're talking about the iFlight Jings. And yes, it is Jing, it's not Xing, it's not Zing. So the first thing that I find that I really like about this motor is the bell is significantly thicker than most bells and it's very, very strong. The air gap is pretty tight, but not so tight that a little malformation is gonna cause you headaches. So I, I think they found a happy medium here. Wires are nice and short going into there so you can solder in probably, I would say, about that short. Um, the base is pretty significant too. It's got actual metal protection above the wires here, so that's good. Your bell can't hit your wires and you know short them out that way in a crash. And uh, yeah, the hardware, it's got obviously a bolt here at the bottom instead of the little old C-clips. I haven't seen a lot of motors that do have the old C-clip style these days, but I'm sure it happens still. But regardless, there's also, I'm finding this on a lot of the newer style motors that I'm coming across, they all have some sort of protection here at the bottom between the bolt and the bearing, and that's Fantastic. It's going to keep dirt and dust out of your bearings, which is going to keep your motors a little bit smoother. Um, at least I assume that's what the intention is there. Uh, maybe for some other purpose. I don't know. I am not a mechanical engineer. Um, I'm not going to take the bell off of this because, I mean, we don't need to go into details. A bunch of other people have done reviews on this motor. And go check out theirs. I think uh, Kebab has done a pretty good one. Um, it looks like on the inside there's also some sort of protection on the bearings though. So those are sort of the highlights about this motor that I, that I see at first glance. Um, mainly I just want to do a flight review. We're going to pop these on my quad and we're going to go out to uh, a little spot and we're going, to give them a, we're going to give them a go and see what happens. And one other thing I didn't really mention is just look at how gorgeous these are. This is a beautiful design on these motors. I'm not super fond of the purple. I don't know that they come in any other colors for this particular model. This is, oh, and I forgot to say, this is uh, the 2306 2450 KV. Uh, yeah, but they're just gorgeous. Look at them, they're beautiful. If you're into uh, the purple dribby style colors, you're gonna really, really dig these motors. Alright, so as you can see, got them all installed, did a little hover test, but this will be the very first flight of these motors, so let's do it. So that went pretty good. They feel 
really good. I mean, they feel just like steel silks to me. Like, identical. Not at all. They don't feel like 2450s. They feel like 2300s, 24, 23, 2350s, something like that. But they fly really good. They're really smooth. And I noticed almost no prop wash compared to, like, the Hype Drain ones that I was reviewing last week. They feel a lot like steel silks. A little more research needs to be done, but there you go. You got a little uh, flight footage to check out and make your decision. And I'll tell you what, the price is right. You know, they were, I think, they were less than 20 bucks a piece US, which is fantastic. So, yeah, there you have it. All right, well, I thought that looked pretty good. They fly pretty well. Uh, they're super smooth, just like steel silks, but I can tell that the weight of the bells has like extra inertia or momentum or something as they're spinning so they don't speed up and slow down quite as quick as some of the higher dollar motors but not a deal breaker i would say if you're trying to hit super tight gaps and do really fast snap rolls and and flips and stuff you might want to choose a lower weighted motor but for really smooth, like cinematic stuff, little a little less energy flying, like these are great. These motors are right on point. They come in at 28 grams, which is, again, eight grams heavier than the steel silks. Um, so, I mean, there's your explanation right there. But they fly really, really good. They're really predictable, really smooth power band all the way up um, from zero throttle to full throttle and yeah, I like them. I think I'm going to continue to fly these on one of my quads. And uh, again, we'll see how how well they stand up to some crashes. And I'll do an update on that later. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. I'll have some more gear reviews coming down the pipeline in, uh, in the future. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.